Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about the COG of RC boats. So with COG, it's very important on how the boat is set up and COG is one of the other setup tunings and what COG stands for is center of gravity. It's the center point or balancing point of the hull given on a base, in, in base number. So, you know, here I have is a hydroplane. This one is a Pro Boat UL19 um, that I'm going to show on this one here. Also, uh, here is, you know, an Impulse 32 right here. I'll show you with that one. So, each hull type boat is set up a little bit different when it comes to COG. And each one is a little bit of preference. And, you know, the numbers will correlate to where your starting point is. Then you'll move, you say, your batteries forward or backwards a little bit to get that weight forward or backwards to, you know, kind of play and tune the hull a little bit on how it runs in the water under a plane. So, you know, starting off with a hydroplane like this one, a Pro Boat UL19. So this one here in this hull se it seems really like the 40 to 50 percent of the hull length so what you do is you measure from the transom back here all the way to the front of the boat here take your measurement and then it's 40 to 50 percent of the hull i'll usually you know move the batteries forward or backwards depending on the conditions of the water how the boat is planing out if it's nose heavy or if it's tail heavy then i can move a little bit of that weight forward or back and i have my markings right here to help me kind of guide where to move the weight forward or backwards. So with this hull here, with the weight in the battery set right now, and I have it marked out to where I can pick up the hull the at my marks, and it'll balance out. So that's what you're trying to achieve when you're setting your marking points out. So in a hydro, it's usually about 40, 50 percent, give or take. Most of the time, it's, it's sometimes you know, right at your, um, if I have this correct, you know, it, put in the comments if I'm a little off on this. So most time it's with your trailing edge on here or center point. I have it off the center point with this hole here. Um, sometimes it can be leading edge, but what your goal is, you want that weight right where your turn fin is. Because especially on a hydro, that turn fin is your... Um, turning access for the hull itself for the boat so when this fin is hooked into the water it's turning and so you want that weight placement right where that turn point is so it'll catch it turn turn to the corner and come out so you know also when you're talking about when the hull planes you know depending on your weight you can move it forward or backwards a little bit with those numbers and those numbers is a good starting reference point to where you set up your weight at so when it comes up on plane and a plane out level, um, it's, but it's still something you would have to play with, but that is a good basis line, especially with the hydro on where to set it up. You know, granted, not all hydros are all the same. Each one's a little bit different, but generally that's a little bit of a rule of thumb um, to that one here. So here is the my Impulse 32. So same thing here. I put marks on here where my COG is. So I can take my batteries in here, move them forward or backwards to bring my center of gravity of this hull to my liking a little bit better So when I'm out in the water, if there's conditions, you know, depending on good conditions, bad conditions. So if it's really bad conditions, really wavy out, and I'll move my weight forward a little bit more to try to get the front of the hull down a little bit more, get that weight up forward, you know, it... Um, to help kind of dig in a little bit from flipping over or if it's really smooth move my way back so I can get you know playing out a little bit more out of the, out of the water so technically you know a mono haul is in between 28% to 35% of the haul length to the COG so same thing you would measure from the back of the boat all the way to forward take your measurement and then you know 28 to 35% is where your starting point is and then you move it around depending on the hull liking. Usually I'll do the battery first, move that around first um, before I really start playing with the setups on here. I'll first, you know, out of the box, kind of tune the setup here a little bit, kind of get this where I'm set, and then my biggest changes, a lot of times I'll do is just moving the batteries around. You know, that, you know, is kind of my quick go-to, you know, depending on the conditions I have. 
So you know that kind of briefly goes over that uh, catamarans. Um, I want to say they're about 20, 28 percent to 35 percent. But please post the link down in the comments with the cats. I, I, I'm uh, and exactly what those ones are. You know, at this time I just have monos and hydros. I haven't gotten into the um, catamarans, but probably in the future I will and explore some new territories on that. And so, you know, if you got some uh, good answers or good comments, post uh, post below and and kind of feed, and kind of help with some of the new be uh, new people trying to learn a little bit of the hobby and how to kind of set up a boat. So, you know, this one here, especially, I just pulled off my shelf. I'm getting it fine tuned and. Uh, be hitting the water here soon, so this one's kind of work in project, work in progress. Probably here soon. Get that this one on. This one I've been running once in a while, back and forth, and probably the next one after that. So you know, there's more to come from here. So hopefully this, you guys find this helpful um, with uh, setting up the uh, with your boat on this. So all right, well thank you for watching.